Abu Dhabi is an international community that blends the East and the West, making it easier to understand how diverse people behave in similar or different ways. Social science research can help us understand how people and societies make decisions using a number of methods. One method we use is lab experiments. In experiments, you can model situations based on real life to understand how people react when faced with such decisions. Hi, my name is Kim Nguyen. And I'm Alize Batra. We will show you how lab experiments at the Social Science Experimental Lab at NYU Abu Dhabi help us improve our understanding of human behavior. Suppose you and a friend share an apartment with a common kitchen and bathroom. Both of you use the kitchen and bathroom equally and both of you would like to have a clean apartment. However, neither of you like to clean and would prefer that the other person does the cleaning. You would like to free ride on the cleaning of your friend and vice versa. You and your roommate face a common situation, a failure to cooperate. Such situations are common in everyday life. In many ways, we need to cooperate with others by sharing resources or achieving something as a group. But how can we study how people make decisions on whether to cooperate or not? One way is to bring humans to the lab and have them engage in similar situations that require cooperation and observe how they behave. We create a game that they play which captures the conflict and preferences that they have when cooperation fails outside the lab. Some people might ask, why bother creating the situation in the lab? Why don't we just send a survey and ask these questions directly? But people are not always honest in survey responses, or willing to answer such questions, or even know why they make the choices they do. Moreover, outside of the lab, there are a lot of external factors that influence behavior. In games of cooperation, you might be more willing to clean the apartment if your friend pays more rent, or if your friend cleaned the previous time. Conversely, if you both hate cleaning intensely and think there will be high costs to giving in, cooperation may be much more unlikely. In the lab, we can control these factors and assign subjects to situations randomly, and then we can answer if X causes Y. If it does, then it has implications for outside of the lab on what helps and does not help cooperation. You can observe hundreds of people, but in a natural setting, there's no way you can monitor hundreds of observations and be sure X causes Y. So we can study in the lab whether differences in preferences affect how people cooperate. We can change many small details and study their effects. We can add in communication and measure how communication affects behavior, or we can study cooperation problems in groups. We can also have subjects actually cooperate on a physical activity, such as cleaning in the lab itself. But the problem of cooperation failures can be even more significant. For example, when countries across the globe are trying to reach agreements to reduce global warming and the effects of climate change, the changes countries need to make involve sacrifices that they often do not wish to make. Reaching an agreement to cooperate and maintaining that agreement is far from simple. Understanding how you and your friend choose to clean when faced with the opportunity to free ride can provide information on why humans in other situations often fail to cooperate, and perhaps how we can increase the probability of cooperation among countries in dealing with important issues. An experiment in the lab with controlled factors can isolate outcomes based on behaviors exhibited in the lab, as in the game of cooperation. These observations inform researchers how we decide to share things with our friends and even give us some insights into the obstacles involved in solving climate change. How does anyone start using the Social Science Experimental Lab at NYU Abu Dhabi? And how do we ensure the experiments are safe and confidential? We are staffed with experienced researchers who can not only help in study design, but also answer questions regarding ethical responsibility. Each study undergoes a rigorous ethical approval process to make sure that participant and stakeholder welfare is at the heart of our research. Visit us at the Social Science Experimental Laboratory for more information.